Welcome back, folks. We are going to get some industry going up here, up at Abilene. And I think the first thing I want to do is hook up this oil refinery and probably this uh, processing plant. I think that's going to be the plan. So let's do that. So we're going to need a, a cargo. Let's see, cargo stadium station medium industry. Let's go with this one. And we're going to get this in here. All right, and then we're going to create a new line from there to there. And it's a little bit annoying that it goes all the way over there, but I don't really want to create a new one, so we'll live with that. Okay, this is going to be Abilene crude well abilene so spine crude to abilene oil to spine yeah all right so that's one new line. Let's just let time pass. Then we'll put another new line in here. Uh, we'll use... I think we'll use this one for this. 50 meters standard. Um, let's make the terminal type high. Number of terminals. You actually only need one. Uh, truck, uh, country, and this is fine. All right. So let's just put this down here, or put it over here. I actually think I like over here. Okay. And then we'll create another new line. From there. To there. And this will be... Spine... Food products. To... Uh, mesquite food to spine. Uh, uh, oh, and uh, what color was that? Spine. Uh, that color. Okay. Uh, so we need trucks. Five vehicles, cargo, we definitely want the Kenworths or the Peterbilts. Let's put Peterbilts on one and Kenworths on another. Uh, so Peterbilt tankers, we want 15 for now. And this was, I'm pretty sure this color or this color, those two colors are the same to me. Let's make them that color. Uh, so spine, spine crew to Abilene oil to spine. Okay, and then we'll buy some Kenworths. I know it's a little bit boring with 
the same trucks all the time, but we don't really have other options. And this can do meat, alcohol, uh, coffee beans, and food. So that's perfect. Let's do 15 for that as well. It's not as long a route. Let's do 12. And it was, I think it's this color. Uh, spine, food products, All right, so the trucks are on their way. So that will bring crude all the way up here. Then another thing we can do. We could actually put a stop in here as well to pick up the food that's being produced and bring back. That might not be a bad idea. We'll get beans at least going here for now, but nothing else because we're not producing anything else. So we need to do something about that. So what are we going to do about that? So one thing I did see, and I think is interesting, is we have all these farms here, right? We have this uh, processing. So this can go up to 800 probably. And then we have this, well, this, this farm, not processing. And then we have this uh, meat processing plant, plant over here. So we could sail this up here, then sail the meat over here, drop it off here, make a uh, spine station here. And get it on the spine and take it to the different processing places that we have. So we have this one here. We have this one up here, and we have uh, a couple of others that we could hook up. So I think that could be an idea. We also have brood here. So why don't we... First of all... Uh, let's hook these two roads up. And then we could, well, first we need to configure this with some cargo buildings. Why are you removing buildings for that? You're not removing buildings there. So let's just have that. And we can have this come here. And come in like this, maybe. I think I want it to be... So that we have a cross here. And then we can have a nice big cargo station. So we have that and that. We have this over here. So that's at least three routes. We have this, that's four. Yeah, so four routes. So let's use this. And put it in over here. Okay, then over here for everything, we really just need one. Like 
Let's see where we are. Like that. Oh, planes. Now that is something that I want to get into as well. So we'll put that in there. And then we'll put a wall one in. Uh, we don't need to do that yet because we're not going to be picking that up yet. I'm not making the uh, the spine uh, hopper line yet. So new line. Auto save. So we'll do this, actually, we'll do this to this. Omar central doesn't seem very central, doesn't. Uh, we will color you whatever this one. And we'll call you Omaha crude to spine. And where do we have a there depot cargo Scadia tank truck? That's new, isn't it? Did we get just get those? I guess we just got those. Nice. All right, so we'll use those, and we'll get ten. No, let's get fifteen. We'll make you your color and come down to Omaha. Omaha crew to spine. Let's take a look at this Cascadia tank, tank truck. Well, that's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Still very dapper guys uh, driving them. Kind of weird driving a tank truck, having it wearing a, a suit and tie. But people are just very dapper in this game. Alright. So. Do we have crude being produced? Not yet. A little bit. All right. Now, let's see, which is this? The spine fluid hauler. Let's take a look at the finances for this. It's gone down a bit, but I actually think I might want to replace these trains. I actually think I might want to replace these trains. So if we do that, we have 12 vehicles on them right now. Uh, what's the rate? 570, which is not good. We need that to be a lot higher. So this is the big boy that we have here. Uh, so I was told by MD that diesel is the most common in uh, in the US. So this seems nice, but the top speed doesn't seem very nice, does it? What's the highest top speed that we have? 165. But then the power and the tractive effort sucks. So let's try this one. Cargo. Uh, we want the tank cars. So these can do 120. These can do 120. So that's kind of perfect, right? Because you can do 120, yeah. Alright. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's still good. I'm only do 197 now though on the high. But I kind of want it to be the length. So there. Mediocre. 120, 120, and then at high inclination, 75. Okay. And the capacity is a little bit higher. Let's do it. And we'll make you your color. All right. So, you are the stakeholder. Who is on what here for the stations? So, or for the terminals. So, the cargo hauler. So, the stakeholder and the fluid hauler are the, on the same. So, we want to replace the stakeholder as well, which we had right here. Place diesel hmm we have something that has pretty good yeah the EMD but it only goes 105 we need something that goes 120 at least so I think we'll put the same one on this one and then we'll use a different one for for the other two. So let's add you and then cargo. We want uh, this one and we'll come up to the length and replace you, make you your color. Okay. All right. Now I made this so that we have actually an extra cargo and an extra passenger, which is perfect because then we can come out here this way, set up passengers through here and set up cargo stations alongside along here as well. And we can put in some, uh, some stake trains, and some um, box trains and possibly some hopper trains as well yeah okay i like it all right so that's all good is do we have suppliers here? We do. Fargo oil well, Fargo oil well, Tacoma oil well, Green Bay oil well, Omaha oil well. Let's take a quick look at Omaha and see what is the rate on this line. 2050. That's a tad too much. Um. So what's the rate on the line now? 1359. That should do it. 1221, perfect. Because that's as much as it's going to be able to make. And... 
I like it. So that means that we'll be picking up crude here, which is good. We also, have, for some reason, have some logs lying down here. For whatever reason. Okay. So, let's actually try and take a look at at this just for a, qu a quick peek a quick peek oh, this looks okay has a little bit of cargo I like it it's weird uh, weird thing it has there where's the there's the driver. He's in here. Again, with the suit and tie. He has a smudge on his shoulder, though. Don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's not a smudge. He's, he has stripes. He has stripes on his shoulder. Okay. Alright, so we have those hooked up now. Let's get some more stuff hooked up. What can we hook up? Um, so we have... But we have some crew that's kind of nearby. Yeah, we do. But the question is, do we need it? And I'm, I'm thinking we do, because everything wants fuel now. And quite a lot of it. But I actually think... I think in the next one, we'll start setting this up. So that we can haul the, or sail the, uh, some of this grain over here. And then the meat over there and sail the meat back. Or the cows over here and then sail the meat back. Load it on here where we'll make a, a spine a thingy and get it going up here. You also have cows here. So we're going to want that hopper line soon. Very soon. What else is easy to hook up up here? There isn't really anything else that's super easy. I suppose the fish... By truck. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Um, uh, not you buildings. We'll use a standard one. And we'll put it in there. New line from there to here and this will be west valley fish to spine there's west valley let's make it this color we'll buy some trucks for you um, whoops I think we'll go with uh, these to Poland's oh uh, let's get nine more make you your color and 
put you on the line. Okay. Let's take a quick look at these. I do like the look of these trucks, man. They are so nice. Really, really nice. All right, so are you producing? Uh, not yet, but you will be. Because we have this food. Pro oh, you don't do fish. Oh, uh, we need to hook. Darn it. I forgot a step. So we need to hook this up. Alright, so that's definitely going to be a project for next time. Now, these lines, they're not being utilized. What's your rate? 998. We're simply not using enough wood. So do we have another... So we only have these two tools factories. Madison and Joliet. Let's take a look. Wow. Is your rate just incredibly bad? No, it's not actually. So why? Because, I mean, even Santa Rosa needs tools now. And Morietta needs tools. Olaith has always needed tools, and it's, it's getting a little bit now. So yeah, I don't quite understand that. I don't quite understand that. I really don't. I mean, down here we're... The Provo Sawmill, and it isn't getting anything. Why not? I mean, there are tons of logs sitting here. What's your rate? 554. So that needs to come up. Let's put another 6 on this. Actually, I could have just doubled it. Because you can consume 1,200, right? Yeah. You can actually consume 1,600. Let's, let's actually get another 12 on here. All right. So now your rate is 1,379. That's a lot better. Your rate doesn't need to be that high, but I do want... Uh, 
need to be in Terminal 2. What's your rate? 613. You can go up a little bit. Seven hundred and fifteen. Let's clone one more. Okay. So hopefully that'll help. Hopefully that will help. Then what else can we do? Well, we are pretty much out of time, so let's take a look at our lines real quick and see if anything is making money. So, Virginia Beach, Tacoma, not so good. Hylia Fluid, not so good. But it's not too bad either. On the other hand, the stakeholder, wow, 40 million. Fluid holder, 33. Manchester Tools, 19. Tacoma, Virginia Beach. The Murrieta Temecula is doing amazing. Where? Let's just look for spine and train. So spine cargo hauler is... Okay, it just went up to 19 million. It has a lot of beans on it. All right, 79 million. All right, so we're getting there. We're getting there. So, are you actually being fed what you need? Not really. Because you need 1600 crude. And you're getting like uh, 300, 400? So we could probably do with some more crude. And we need to... So this is something that I want to do. Because we have more space on this now, right? So your rate is 560 now. Clone. And the steak uh, hauler. Wait, there was a train in there, wasn't there? Yeah, train 101. Uh, steak hauler. Your rate is 390. Clone. Okay. Where will they be coming from? Not here, apparently. So that's a lot of new trains on those two lines. Which should help out the... the rates. They're not coming out here either. We don't have any warnings. They're not coming out there for sure. Oh, new bus. Oh. Are they coming here? Yeah, they are. 
That's fine. I do need a signal in here. not going to be easy for them to get out I think it's going to take a while and now you're stuck but that's probably because there was just a new fluid thing gonna come out are we missing a signal somewhere here we are up here and then we're missing a signal so this is coming up this is coming down here and let's say here as well okay this is gonna be a lot of fluid trains right off on each other's tails Which isn't great. I might want to make a like a side track somewhere. You know what? Let's. Kind of should have done them one and one so that it would be fluid steak fluid steak fluid steak instead of just fluid 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 i might Fix that somehow at some point. What? Right, let's sell you. Hey, here comes a steak. Okay, so we have fluid, then we have steak. Then we have, this is a passenger train, I think. Yeah. Then we have fluid. Then we have fluid. Then we have steak. And then we'll have another steak. Okay, but getting this up. I think it's good because I think our uh, rate was hurting us 773 I think our rate is hurting us here as well actually might need some more stake cars on here I mean they have a very very long way to go so they shouldn't be too jumbled up right once they start uh, spreading themselves out Uh, 
But anyway, this is where we are at the moment. I think next time we are going to get uh, this going with the grain up to here, say a little over there, say the cows over there, say all the beef back here and build a spine stop here. Which could then also be used for this. The only train that wouldn't need to stop there are the uh, fluid trains. So I might make a bypass for the fluid trains so that they can just go around. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.